back on the hatch build. Last video, we got the K24Z7 out. I've got it completely disassembled. Um, any of the good parts I'm gonna sell or whatever I can use off of it. Then at its lower mileage, I'm gonna put on the uh, our new engine, our A2. So, so far on the A2, um, I've got it up on the stand. Uh, cleaned it up a little bit. I still had, I've taken, taken a few things off of since then, so I might have to go back and clean it up some more and uh, get it looking good, but kind of getting a plan of attack while I'm going to do on it. Uh, so yeah, pretty well got it tore down for the most part. Still a few more things I'm going to take off, but I'm going to wait till I get it completely clean. That way I don't get water or anything and anywhere, or dirt where I don't, where I don't want it. So, so right now what I'm going to do is we're going to modify our intake manifold. We got the skunk 2 unit. We're going to modify it to fit our A2. So what we got to do is we've got to cut the coolant passage off at the end of it, being that our engine already has one. So I've got a new gasket for it. So I'm going to use it as a template to uh, transfer over to our intake manifold. And we're going to use that as a template of, as far as what to cut on it. So let me show, let me show it to you. Here's the intake we're putting on. This came off our uh, Z7, and this wasn't a Z7 intake, but and I had to modify this a little bit to uh, to make it work. But let me show you the difference. See, this the, this the intake we're putting on. See, it's got this integrated coolant housing. So this is the style that goes on the A2. You can tell it doesn't have anything on it because the engine has it right here so we're gonna have to cut this piece off okay so i've got the gasket up so you can see how much we're gonna have to take off so i'm gonna grab a sharpie and i'm gonna um uh, get us a cut line scribed out the sharpie method wasn't uh just wasn't showing up bold enough on here so something else i'm gonna do heavy but doesn't matter and it doesn't matter if we get paint on our gasket because it's got a uh, clear protective film on it okay so here <clears throat> the black section is what we're trying to uh, cut out so it's got a curve to it so I'm just gonna do a very rough cut to just get the bulk of this material out then we'll come back and kind of refine the contour on it Okay, update. So I got the initial piece off, looking really ugly, but cut it off. And I got a lot of room to work with. <clears throat> so I just need to get that bulk of this stuff out of the way. So next thing I'm gonna, so next I need to kind of work on getting this flange, and then I'll come back and like uh, get this spot in here and clean up this runner right here. Then I'll clean up, you know, the top half of this one. So first I need to get the flange cut so I can kind of see, you know, where everything's going to fall. But to get this, the bulk of this cut off, I started with the, uh, the, the grinder and the death wheel, which I absolutely hate. Then I switched to this. So combination of these things. Well, I'll keep with the small pneumatic one from here on out. So yeah, um, I didn't really record much of it because it's really hard to see what I was doing and I was switching back and forth between this and that, but anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to keep uh, messing around with this thing and then I'll let you guys see some progress on it.
another update. So I've got the majority of the bolt cut off. I'm gonna come back and clean this up. But got the majority of the cut off. Now I'm coming back with the heavy cut grinding wheel and just kind of uh, shaping these contours. So it looks really rough, but it cuts really fast on this aluminum. So once we get it close, it'll come back and um, uh, with a finer disc, and we will really, uh, you know, smooth it out, make it look good. Another update, so we got roughed in with our um, the grinder wheel, so I switched to the 36 grit flap disc, just kind of smoothing everything out, so we got our flange pretty well smoothed out, i to come back and um, finish out the edge a little bit so we don't have any sealing problems. Yeah, so I got looking pretty good. Um, originally, I thought maybe I was going to go all the way to the runner here and try to smooth all that out, but I really don't know how much material I've got there. And I think this is going to look pretty good. I'm going to test fit it on the engine real quick to see what it looks like. If that's the case, I'm going to come back with um, like an 80 grit um, disc and work my way up from there and just try to get this as smooth and roughed in. I mean, try to get it smooth and kind of finished out as possible, so. Okay, finally finished it up. Got it just mocked up on the engine here. And that's what it looks like. Not perfect, but I think it looks really good. Got plenty of clearance. And, man, take too much work and save me from having to buy another one. I already had this one. So, no reason to waste the money, but, yep, yeah, got it up, but pretty smooth um yeah i debated kind of maybe coming back and polishing this whole thing out but uh we really didn't feel like putting that much work into it but who knows maybe later on but right now we've got it on so let's just mock it up but got where it's gonna work so got a couple other things going to delete try to make the motor look really clean got it cleaned up really good but i'm still gonna go back and clean it up even more but uh but yeah, that's what we got so far. Uh, got our intake done. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think.